Okay, here we are, another tutorial for the pipe uh, pipe and duct cable tray opening. So I made an example before, a duct. So what what if there's a duct elbow and pipe elbow in the wall, exactly in between the walls, so how uh, is the script is working for the window opening? Uh, so let's try that. So, okay, let's go to the um, link wall opening. Okay, about this one. Let's try this one. Okay, you select again the wall and then. I think this is a live, the live one. Let's try. Uh. Select the elements. Uh, sample this one. Finish. So it's working. As you can see. It's working in the live and in link. Okay, this is live but it is working working also in the link link in MEP. You see this window opening. So what about this one? Uh, okay. What about cable tray fittings? Elbow. Let's run it. So it's working also. But let's check about the uh, uh, pipe. Pipe elbow. Let's check if it's working. And then play so so it's not working I already tried it many times I, and also modify the script so the only solution here is you, you should offset this one of, offset first so that the duck will be exactly in the cross section with the wall so again you just select the elements sample this one and then play there you go you have now the opening so what if I want a circular just select this one through circular and then go back again select again the element and then play okay there you go so that's all a window then after that um, after you finish all the opening then that's the time you select again the fittings and you want to move it you want it exactly maybe like that mostly like that and this one maybe so you have a little clearance I think that's the real world scenario. Maybe like that. Okay. So you have now the opening. Okay. So uh, and also you can modify this one. You can make it bigger. So example this this uh, pipe, and then just select again this one, and then click. And play so if you check now it's a little bigger okay so that's the um, window opening now let's try let's try um, wall opening select all instances okay delete this first select So save, let's try, go back, uh, wall opening only, wall opening, uh, wall opening, mm. wall opening, remove the opening, using, using void, 
let's try this one select the penetrating uh, select the wall like the penetrating elements and then play let's try so also it's working also you see this is, is just a straight opening so let's try here at the fittings select if it is working and then play so still still not working so that's why you should always offset the song offset okay now it's work this one will work select elements penetrating element and then play uh, what happened okay here you go we just need to refresh again let's do it again uh, select elements penetrating this one and then play maybe I want circular we select again the pipe another pipe and then play what happened why still rectangular uh, okay so I think we have to edit this one this family anyway at, uh, at least you you know you get ready how to um, modify that one so select model element one Okay, let's add wall penetration using ah this one wall opening wall opening line V one. Yeah, so I get I guess that's it for this tutorial. Okay, so you can use the typical wall wall opening this one. this one or you use the window family so yeah for the pipes you have to use to ex extend first so that the pipe will crossing the wall but for the docks and the cable tray no need to do that it will automate the cut here okay okay that's it